Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, Dale here. How you doing? Uh, in this video, I have an Asus laptop. It's an X5, X555D series. It's a little older model. Um, it's got the AMD A10 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and a kind of a generic solid state drive in it. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to open it up, get inside, get access to the hard drive or the solid state drive. And of course, um, I mean, I'm going to show you how to remove the motherboard, the battery, CPU pan, and even the optical drive. So I just wanted to give you an overview of what it looks like before I start, but we're going to tear into it. Basically, I'm going to remove the palm rest from the top. There's two cables underneath we have to disconnect when you lift this palm rest up. So you don't want to just be yanking it off, but we're going to break it loose and get inside. So let's get started. All right, guys. So what I did is I already removed all the screws. I don't like to bore people with me taking out screws, but on these Asus laptops on this model, keep in mind that there's three different length screws. So when you put them back in, don't put a long screw in a short hole. It'll poke right through the top palm rest. Um, you have to remove this little access panel on the bottom here where the RAM slot is. I already did that. There's just one little screw to hold that in. But the three, the all the screws along the front here, along the front are all one length. Uh, the two screws in the back corners here by where the hinges are, those are yet another length. And then these two screws in the center here and these ones on the side are a different length. So you got three different length screws, just keep that in mind when you're, when you're taking it apart. All right guys, so I got my, I'm gonna use a very thin little spudger tool here Got a couple of different ones, but this, these little tools work pretty good to get this started. What we have to do is we're going to separate the palm rest top here from the bottom pan. Where the silver meets the black, we're going to break open that seam and lift the whole palm rest off. I'm going to take my little tool here and get it started. These ones aren't too bad. <clears throat> Wasn't too difficult. So we'll lift this up. Usually you have to just jiggle these a little bit to kind of break them loose. But beware when you open it up here, you want to be careful because you have your keyboard cable here. You have to flip the little black lever up here, flip this up. And there's one over here for the touchpad on this side that we have to disconnect. So I'm going to flip up the little levers. They come up pretty easy to release them. And we got our palm rest out of the way. Now you can see we have access to our hard drive over here. We have to remove this little I.O. board right here. There's one screw right here that we have. Sorry. There's one screw right here that we have to take off to remove this little I.O. board. Disconnect it over here from the motherboard. Put the little lever up. Basically just like that. And we have our battery here I'm going to take out. It's got one, two, three screws to lift the battery out. And I'm going to take the whole motherboard out here. There's just a handful of screws. Once we get the hard drive out of here, there's two screws right here to hold the hard drive in here and here. The little bracket that holds the hard drive. You can replace that with a brand new solid state drive or whatever you want really. Uh, there's one screw right here that removes the optical drive, get that out of there, and a couple of handful of screws for the motherboard to pull that out. So let me get the hard drive out first. Now you want to keep track of where all your screws go because they are they are a little different here and there. So this little I.O. board should lift right out of here, just like that. 
Now we can slide our hard drive back. There's just four screws, two on each side that hold the hard drive and a little caddy mount here. So we'll get that out of the way. I'm going to remove this one screw right here to get rid of the optical drive or CD-ROM drive, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Just like that, it carefully slides out. There's a SATA port right here that it plugs into on the motherboard. So now I'm going to release this little SATA connector here for the hard drive. There's one screw right here. We got to remove, and we're going to unplug this. There's a speaker plug right here on this little board. We have to release that little that little black plug. It pulls out. Got to be very careful because the wires are very small, very thin. They usually come out pretty easy. Just like that, I released it. And that comes off just like that. So I'm going to remove the battery now. It said there was one screw here, one screw here, and we have another one right here. So the battery connects to the motherboard right here is the connector. It connects right here to the motherboard. So now let's get the motherboard out. <clears throat> we have, so you can try to see this, sorry about the bad camera angle, we got a screw over here, we got a screw right here, we got a screw here, screw here which I think is attached to the fan. Um, we're going to remove this little piece of tape. Should be, yep, there's a screw underneath the tape. Right here, there's a screw under that tape. And always be careful handling this stuff. Make sure you're anti-static, so to speak, which I am. Alright, so we got the screws out here for the motherboard. Um, right here, there's a connector to the screen. You have to disconnect that from the motherboard. It's right here in the back. Be very careful. Gotta get that, get under that tape and get it unstuck. Always use plastic tools if possible. That just, that cable just slides back kind of gently. Don't put a lot of force on it. Uh. <clears throat> here on the bottom side of the motherboard it's always fun and we got our wireless card is attached over here the antenna wires are right here you got to be careful of those 
So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect those. And your antenna wires are attached to the side of your seat, your cooling fan right here, so you want to be careful of that. And then the fan itself is plugged in on the bottom side of the motherboard for power. <clears throat> I believe. Oops. Oh, bumper there. So, we have a screw right over here in the corner for the fan. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, guys, so bear with me. There, now I gently got that. Once I got that screw out, it came right out. Um, Sorry about the interruption, guys. So here's the motherboard. Here's your wireless card. All you'd have to do to remove the cooling pan and heat sink assembly here is there's just four screws. One, two, three, four to remove this whole assembly with the pan. Of course, here's your stick of memory. So that's how you remove the motherboard out of this Asus. Um, like I said, it is uh, X555D series. Um, it has the AMD processor, not a bad computer, um, but I'm going to, when I put this back together, I am going to put a new solid state drive back in it, a new good solid state drive, probably a Samsung. This, um, these older models like this don't have an M2 port to add an M2 or an NVMe drive. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate y'all watching and... Go check out some of my other videos. Have a great day.